Hi everyone, welcome to my tutorial on building your own vats for the Moai 3D printer. I found that some of my vats that I was getting from the factory were failing pretty fast and at $55 each I was really having a hard time uh, just justifying buying new vats, especially after sometimes they would fail after one print. I'm going to take you through all the steps on making your own homemade vat complete with a PDMS layer that you can pour at home. So we're going to start with laser cut acrylic. There's six parts that make up a vat. You've got the base which is two pieces, two sides, a front, and a rear panel. For assembling I'm using acrylic adhesive. This is from side drip. Normally I use weld on. They didn't have any weld on when I went to go buy my supplies yesterday. But this, I've used it before. It's a fast set, excellent adhesive for acrylic. And that is dispensed out of a needle applicator. To create the PDMS layer, you can either use Solaris or ML Solar. You'll need mixing cups. Make sure that you use plastic mixing cups. Don't use the paper cups with the wax coating. That can uh, compromise the optical clarity of the silicone layer. So plastic cups only. Stir sticks, gram scale, um, and that's about it. You don't need a degas machine for this kind of silicone. It just pours straight right out of your mix into the vat. This homemade vat works wonderfully. You can see here one of the big pieces that I've made. This was a custom project that was about 20 different pieces that were printed on the Moai using these homemade vats, so it works beautifully. And by the way, this is just regular eighth inch cast acrylic. Eighth inch, it's all you need. So we're going to start by removing the paper backing on each piece. For anyone into using laser cutters, this was a 80 watt laser cutter. The raster was a, I believe it was a 90 power 300 speed. So there's a really, really nice raster line. I know this will be a little hard to see because these parts are clear, but we're going to organize these. Here's your bottom base goes on top of your base. You have two short ends and a long end. So here's our long end. That's the back. Two short ends, the side. Front is easy to identify because of the little tabs. And make sure when you assemble this that the raster line is facing outside. You don't want that, that etch to be facing in. You want that out. First thing we're going to do is put the base together. Again, I showed you the adhesive I'm using. It's water thin, needle applicator here. I'm gonna put a little bit of a bead on the edge. I'm gonna set this guy, line him up. You've got a little bit of work time with this, so you don't have to rush but make sure that you get those edges nice and flush. That's about flush like that. I'm gonna take my needle applicator, and this is called capillary action. I'm gonna go ahead and run a bead right along the edge. And I know you can't see it with the camera, but I can see it. it the, the adhesive is sucking in between these two sandwiched pieces. That's called the capillary action. That's That adhesive is drawn between the two pieces and it fuses them permanently. That's it. It's going to let this sit here for about five minutes, five to ten minutes. And that is adhesed. You, next step, we're going to put the front on. So this separate panel that's here faces down. You want to, this, the top of the vat is completely smooth. This is a little corner bracket from Home Depot. It's cost about a buck for this. I like to use this if I, I'm really anal about getting a 90 degree angle. Okay, again, here's the front. My etch is facing outside the vat. 
run a little bit of a bead across the edge and this sits flush to the face again another bead to the inside and that's it use my 90 degree helper and there we go so you'll do that for all the other sides you're gonna get the the other guy here and then your back is going to meet up with your two sides Before we lay down a layer of PDMS, I want to make sure that it's watertight. Definitely don't want any leaks, so I'm just going to fill this guy with some water, almost to the top, because anyone with the Moai knows, when that build plate comes down, it pushes that resin almost all the way up to the top. So I'm going to fill this, and I'm just going to let this sit here for about five minutes and watch for leaks. If there's no leaks, we're ready to go on to the next stage. Okay, this vat is completely watertight. I had it full all the way to the top with water for about half an hour, not a single leak. Now we're at the stage for pouring our PDMS layer, otherwise known as silicon. Today I'm using ML Solar. This is a 10 to 1 ratio. You can also use Solaris, which is a 50-50 ratio, a little bit easier to mix. And make sure that your scale is, is well calibrated. So I found the best ratio is 60 grams of the silicon, to, and then 10% of that is going to be 6 grams. So let's carefully pour this to 60. Okay, there we go at 60 grams. Now we're going 6 grams of the catalyst. Okay. Give this a very thorough, vigorous mix. The manufacturer recommends that you, you mix this for 3 minutes pour it into a, a separate cup and then mix that for another couple minutes and then we're going to pour this directly into the vat okay make sure that you're also I forgot to mention this is make sure that your surface that this is going to sit in for a couple days make sure it's completely level 100 percent level Pour it into the center. And let it work its way out to the edges. Don't worry about all the bubbles. In about half an hour to 45 minutes, all those bubbles will have worked themselves out. And you will have a completely optically clear PDMS layer. While making this video, I learned something pretty useful. You can degas Solaris. You cannot degas ML Solar because it expands way too much. But Solaris, not a problem. Look how optically clear already the silicon is because I've, I've had it in the degas chamber now for about six minutes. If you found this content useful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to learn more, visit my website, Instagram, and Facebook pages indicated in this video description. Thanks for watching.